I'm Alex with Big Dog Surveillance Systems, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to gain remote access to your DVR or NVR using the built in PT Cloud feature. First, you'll need to log into the system. The default credentials will be admin with the password of Big Dog 1234. You may have changed this password. If you have, then just utilize whatever you've changed it to. Go ahead and select Login. At the top of the blue main menu, you'll have to locate the system function with the gear icon. Select that. On the left-hand side, you'll then select Network, and then from the submenu there, select Advanced. From the menu that appears on the right-hand side, select Platform Access, and here you'll want to make sure you set the access type to Enable PT Cloud. You'll then want to select the Enable checkbox, which will bring up the service terms. Go ahead and select the box in there to agree to the service terms, and then click OK. You'll now need to either set a verification code or use an existing one. I like to use 123456 since it's easy to remember. Once you've typed in a verification code, go ahead and click apply at the bottom. You'll then see the status change from offline to online. Your PT Cloud feature is now active and can be used to pair with the phone application. Next, you'll need to download the application to your phone. It's called LTS Connect and can be found on both the Apple App Store and Android Play Store. Go ahead and install it, and once installed, you'll be asked if you'd like to register an account. While it's not required, I do recommend it. Uh, once in the app, you'll then need to go in the top right corner and select the plus symbol. This will give you some options. Go ahead and select scan QR code, and this will open up your phone's camera. You can then use this to scan the QR code that was shown on the DVR's monitor earlier. Once the scan goes through, it'll then show you the option to add the DVR to your phone app. Go ahead and select the Add button. You'll see adding has been completed. You can click Next. And on this next screen, you'll be able to name that DVR in your phone app. For our purpose here, I will just use Demo Setup. Go ahead and click Save. And uh, again, if you haven't registered, you can uh, do that now, or you can press the X to skip. We can now see that the demo setup DVR has been added to our phone. Go ahead and click the DVR and it'll bring up the camera views as they are currently live. On my demo system here, I don't have any cameras attached, so it is showing video loss, but on your system, it should show the live camera views. If another team member of yours requires access to the same DVR, at this point, you'll need to share it through the phone application. You can do this by selecting the more icon located in the bottom right, then selecting manage share settings. Here, you'll just have to select the orange red plus sign and from there, you'll select Share via QR code, then select the DVR you need to share. And the next screen will provide you a QR code that your associate can scan using their LTS Connect app to gain access to the same system.